boom, surprise attack Saturday. Didn't see that one coming behind the box. No idea where I was. But I'm here, ready to rock, and so are you. Hope you tune in to the Zoom class Saturday at 9. That's always a good one. We get a good broad range, dynamic group of people. Um, some morning crew, some afternoon crew, some evening crew. So drop in, 9 a.m. on Saturday. Workout today, we start with a little bit of strength, then we go into some serious double under work, all right? So let's start by getting those calves and ankles stretched out, especially we jumping a little bit yesterday in that pike position, driving through here. I'd probably drop down, get those quads from yesterday too. Hold this saddle pose, drive up, and then come back into pumping through those calves. I'd cycle through that back and forth at least three or four times, all right? We do have some overhead work today and some swings with the kettlebell. So I'd slide that one arm through and then open up, slide through and open up. I get four or five on each side there, moving through. Um, not too much going below parallel, a little bit with the new movement, the sluster, which we'll go over. Um, so you do want to get those hips activated. I'd probably jump up in the bottom of my squat, lean side to side, maybe come up into that quarter squat back down, quarter squat back down. That's a really good one to open things up. And then I might hit that front lunge position where I'm here, into a little twist, and then up into a split squat. Done this one before, back down, a little twist, up into a split squat, getting those legs nice and activated. From here, um, again, a lot of jumping, so I might go into some dynamic stretches like we used to do in class, up and over with my hips, I'm kind of on my toes as I'm walking across, maybe back on my heels. Um, so I'm grab the ankle and then reach, big step, grab the ankle and then reach, some backwards hip openers as I walk through and then step back. Couple things cycling back and forth, and then I'd start back into that calf and ankle stretch again. Do that two times. Now you're about 10, 15 minutes in, ready to attract, attack, attack the strength piece. Single leg RDLs, weighted or unweighted? That's on you, all right, that's on you. What do you have available? Um, and is it a movement where you can maintain balance and go straight down, trying to get that chest down towards the ground, maintain stability and then come back up? Great option here, I've prescribed this couple athletes and true coach, is to just use um, a box to balance yourself, all right? So if I was here working myself back, that RDL becomes a lot easier just with a little bit of the stability on a box. I can focus on that hinge, and if I have that hand planted there, now it becomes a lot easier to weight that movement, come down, and then drive up. This debate, if you have the dumbbell on the same side, or if it's kind of contralateral, where I'm working a little bit more stability, and I kick that leg back. Um, the most important piece, whether you're gonna weight the side that you're um, doing the RDL on or not, is trying to avoid the hip twist and open, all right? So if on this side, I don't wanna come down and kinda of open the hip, I'm, I'm turning off the hamstring a little bit there. I wanna focus on those hips being nice and, nice and straight as I hinge forward and work in that plane and range of motion in that way rather than working that open and twist. That's your focus. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, it's meant to be strength, so don't worry about speed. Maybe you get four reps, maybe you get eight reps, all right? But I'm alternating legs. So I'm here, as I hinge, I stand, switch my dumbbell if I want, and then kick back and then back through, all right? 12 minutes through that, so you get six opportunities. Then we've done this one before, glute bridge hold, floor press. If you just have one dumbbell or kettlebell, try to make it pretty heavy, drive up into that glute bridge, nice and stable, not overextended, and then you're gonna press up. 20 seconds on one side, switch, be careful on that switch, keep that engagement here, and then 20 seconds on the opposite side. There's your strength piece, all right? Should be a nice warm up before the workout. Double unders today are prescribed at 300. It's a crazy number for some people. Double unders are one of those things like running, all right? For some people, a two mile run is like their warm up. For other people, it's like, I can't believe I have to run 400 meters today. So make the double under piece your own. 300 is trying to hit the athlete um, that would be challenged by that, a really good athlete, make sure they are challenged, all right? So scale that to 100, 250, whatever it is for you, but for those 300 double unders, timing wise, we're thinking it should not take more than five to six minutes, all right? Five to six minutes. So your 100 double unders should be about two minutes or less, all right? 
They'll start to tail off a little bit. Uh, maybe that first hundred is a little faster, but you don't want to be on the doubles for more than about six minutes. All right? Six minutes comes up, and then we have 21.15.9, kettlebell swing, sluster, sluster. New one, gotta love that word, sounds really great coming out too as a coach. For the sluster, we are going to do a snatch from the ground. Grab the dumbbell here as I talk through it. So, snatch from the ground in one hand. So I'm all the way up, holding that dumbbell here. I'm gonna bring it back to my shoulder and then thruster the dumbbell back up and then back into a reverse lunge. Reset to my opposite hand. Snatch, thruster, lunge. Woo, that's gonna get spicy. 21 of those, all right, 21 of those. Possible to do with a barbell, but pretty hard. Um, I try to keep this one to a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Um, so you have 21.59, KB swings, slusters. Not sure how long it's gonna take. Really gonna vary as to where you go with the weight. It's a lighter weight and the KB swings are unbroken and the slusters are easy for 21. You're gonna be done in 12 minutes with the double unders. But if it's a challenging weight and you have to put it down, um, which is where we want you to get to, something that's a little bit more moderate, not something that you're just flying through if you have it available, then this could be 12 minute please, plus the double unders, you're at about 18 minutes, all right? So, do what you can for the doubles. Um, put your, your notes in the, uh, in the sugar wad, like screw you, 300 double unders is crazy, you're insane, um, or 300 dubs was easy, whatever you want to uh, spit out in there. And then 21.15.9, let us know how the slusters go. Love you guys.